I can remember an old joke somewhere along the line that said, the moral majority is neither. Well, here we have a case of fibrous dysplasia. I cannot say that fibrous dysplasia is neither, but I can say it is not truly dysplastic from the malignant sense of the word. Fibrous dysplasia is a very, very rare disease. You'll probably never see it in real life. Uh, it's a result of a mutation of some gene, but it, the mutation usually occurs during fetal development and is not hereditary per se. What you can recognize in this uh, biopsy, also fibrous dysplasia is uh, usually involving one bone most of the time. It could be multiple. What you can recognize here is the fact that these darker purpler areas are trabecular bone. You could see the spicules. You could see that they are peripherally rimmed by osteoblasts. You could see that they are inhabited by osteocytes. But in contrast to most bone, this uh, marrow is completely overgrown by a proliferating fibrous tissue. This is a very classical appearance for fibrous dysplasia of bone. Thinned spicules, mostly because of a tremendous overgrowth of fibrous tissue between the spicule. Um, do I have to show you anything more? Or are you happy? Here's the fibrous tissue. Notice there's a lot of blood vessels within the fibrous tissue because this proliferating fibrous tissue needs a lot of blood, doesn't it? Here is a nice specular spicule of bone. For that reason, this is trabecular bone because spicules are also called trabeculae. And like any uh, spicule of bone or trabecul, tra <laughs> or trabecular structure, you can see uh, osteoblasts uh, towards the outside of the spicule and any nucleus you see within the bone is probably an osteocyte. Thank you very much.